Winter on the island of Sodor can be windy and cold. When the cold wind blows, the engines can't wait to get back to the snug warmth of Tidmouth sheds. Bitter cold, bitter cold, bitter cold, chuffed Toby. Still, I'll soon be back in my nice dry shed. But suddenly, he could see a farmer standing knee-deep in snow. He was waving a red flag. Toby's driver applied the brakes. My phone lines are down. All the roads are blocked and my sheep have just started lambing, the farmer said. They're trapped on the hillsides, cut off by the snow. What can we do to help? Toby chuffed. I need a vet as quickly as possible. We'll stop at the next signal box, said Toby's driver. I'll phone the vet from there. Toby raced to the signal box and the driver phoned ahead to the station. The fat controller and the vet were waiting for Toby as he arrived. The farmer's lambs are stranded on the hillside, cried Toby. We've got to rescue them. I'm sure we shall, said the fat controller. I'll send Duck right away. This is a job for an engine with a snow plough. Toby knew Duck was the right engine for the job. He was very powerful. Hurry, Toby called anxiously as Duck chuffed out of the station. But so much snow had fallen, the tracks ahead were blocked. We can't go on, said Duck's driver grimly. We'll have to go back. Toby was surprised to see Duck return to the station. I tried my hardest, puffed Duck, but the weather's getting worse. Even Duck's snowplow can't get through, said his driver. Then Toby had an idea. My old branch line runs out there, sir. Remember? That's far too dangerous, said the fat controller. It would never carry Duck's weight. It might take my weight, said Toby, and I know that line like the back of my buffers, he added. It's our only chance to help the newborn lambs. The fat controller agreed, but he told Toby to be very careful. Soon a blizzard was howling. Toby's driver was worried. I can do it, called Toby, as long as these rails hold. But Toby had forgotten about the rickety old bridge. Help! My wheels are wobbling, he cried. His driver fought for control as Toby struggled on. I've got to reach the other side of this bridge, gasped Toby. Those lambs need me. The farmer was waiting. It was very cold. Suddenly, a ghostly glowing eye shone through the snowstorm. It was Toby's headlamp. You made it, cried the farmer. What a brave engine you are. The vet and the farmer went to find the lambs. But they soon returned. The newborn lambs are safe and sound, Toby, said the vet, but we need a place now to keep the little ones warm. Toby smiled. I think you'll find Henrietta has plenty of room. Toby stayed for several days just to make sure the lambs were all right. The farmer was very grateful. Thank you, Toby, he said. We couldn't have done it without you. No, thank you, said Toby. There's nothing I like better than helping out a friend in need. <laughs>